Hello YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 2018. It's part one, my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 2018 and just want to start this update video off a little bit differently than I usually start it. Hello? And that, yeah, you can see me a little bit better now that I'm holding the camera. Let's see what we can do. No, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, come on. Come on, camera. Come on, webcam. There. There we go. I don't know if you can hear me as well, but... Uh, late last night, I did a little bit of a Roger Corman double feature. I finally watched all of my DVD of... The student nurses. It's a little 1970 drive in cult movie drama produced by Roger Corman. It was very enjoyable. And they're learning fast, the student nurses. And then after that, I watched another Roger Corman movie, one that I, well, I'd started watching this one a while back, but I didn't get that far into watching it, but now I watched it all. And then another one, I, one I've seen before on Turner Classic Movies, and I've seen a bootleg of, but I've had the DVD of it for years, just sitting in my room, and finally watched it. Mind Warp and Infinity of Terror, which cult movie fans will know this better as Galaxy of Terror, as reversible artwork. To some things about it, I didn't remember from watching it in the past. Didn't seem to be as bad of a movie as it's made out to be, and there's just some things about it I just didn't remember happening. So... Oh, and I put this into my DVD ROM drive, and it does have a PDF file of the original screenplay. So I read a little bit of that, but it wasn't as interesting as the one that came on Star Crash DVD, which was an illustrated, an annotated one. So I just wanted to share these two Roger Corman drive-in flicks first that I, I watched recently and had some fun watching this this one, the qual picture quality is very, very nice. But this is an update video, and I put in a few orders for Amazon Prime. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah, I put in, in a small order on Deep Discount and a small order on Criterion Collections website. So those will be coming in this week and then just a couple more Amazon orders but nothing really that interesting is what I usually show off but so I'm showing off mo most of the good stuff today so here's package number one for my Amazon Prime orders Looks like it's a DVD and a Blu-ray.
So first, it's the Cheesy Flicks DVD of Mexican horror movie from the early 60s, The Brainiac. And there was an authorized DVD release a while back from Synapse Casa Negra. But that, I believe that's out of print, but you can still get it. And then there were a few other budget label DVDs out there. I think they're all out of print, but you could still track most of them down. It says the most bizarre horror move ever. I guess they mean movie. You just left out the I in movie. In me in eighteen or in sixteen sixty one Mexico, the Baron Vit Vitalius of a Astera is sentenced to be burned alive by the Holy Inquisition of Mexico for witchcraft, necromancy, and other crimes. As he dies, the Baron swears vengeance against the descendants of the Inquisitors. More than 300 years later, a comet that was passing over overhead on the night of the Baron's execution returns to Earth, bringing with it the Baron in the form of a horrible, brain-eating, hideous monster that terrorizes the Inquisitor's descendants for all eternity. And this is one that had been on USA Network on, I believe, Commander USA used to host all these English language dubs of these 60s Mexican horror movies. And then when something weird video had the rights to these films, they would get recut in sort of Reader's Digest form and get hosted by Sandra Bernhardt on USA's Real Wild Cinema. So, it's a Brainiac from 1962, 77-minute black-and-white Mexican horror movie dubbed into English. And then when originally going to be put out by Code Red, but Scorpion releasing took it over. It's a movie that's been released on VHS and DVD in the past is Trauma, but it's also called it's better. It's called Enigma Rosso, and it's called Red Rings of Fear, and it's called Virgin Terror. It's got a whole bunch of titles because it's an Italian horror movie or an Italian giallo. Stars Fabio Testi. And this is a brand it has a brand new scan of the original negatives with extensive color correction done here in the States. Audio commentary with with the historian Nathaniel Thompson. Watch in English or Italian with English subtitles translated from the Italian language. It's from 1978, 85 minutes, not rated, but it would probably be R-rated or X-rated. And it's in 2.35 widescreen, and it's, it's anamorphically enhanced, and it's region A-locked. Ultra sleazy schoolgirls and peril thrills, well worth tracking down hysteria lives. And there you can see Fabio Testi. Drink of Dr. Pepper. When the brutally violated body of a woman, of a young woman, is found wrapped in plastic, Inspector Gianni Di Sa. Although Fabio Testi contraband and the four of the apocalypse is drawn to, to dark deeds at an exclusive girls' school where the beautiful members of a group called the Inseparables are being targeted 
with sinister letters and murder attempts. Following a clue in the dead girl's diary, he soon learns that anyone could be harboring deadly secrets as he entangles this web of sex and homicide. A prime slice of sordid shocks from the golden age of Italian giallo, this is the final film in the cycle of schoolgirl thrillers following What Have You Done to Solange and What Have They Done to Our Daughters, with enough delirious twists and turns to keep you guessing all the way to the startling final revelation, also starring Christine Kaufman, Town Without Pity and Murders in the Rue Morgue, Ivan Desny, The Marriage of Maria Braun, and who, Jack Taylor, Pieces, and Succubus, and Helga Line, Horror Express, and Nightmare Castle. This wicked chiller is now presented in HD and full widescreen for the very first time. So, Enigma Rosso, which is also called Red Rings of Fear, and it's called Trauma, and it's called Virgin Terror. Region A locked from 1978. It's 85 minutes color, 2.35 anamorphic widescreen. It's an English or Italian with English subtitles. Not rated, but it would have to be at least an R because it's got sexual and there's nudity. So that was all of package number one, just DVD number one. Now for package number two from Amazon Prime. And these are all DVDs from the look of it. So first up, one's from MVD Music Video Distributors. It's one that's been out on, I believe, VHS and DVD-R. I don't, I don't know if this had a press DVD before, but it's an R-rated music movie starring the late, great Frank Zappa, and it stars the still-living former Beatle Ringo Starr. Frank Zappa as 200 motels, and this is, I believe this is one of those movies that was shot on videotape, and then it was transferred to film. And it's rated R, it's region 1 locked, and it's 100 minutes long, it's from 1971. Just the right touch of insanity, a stunning achievement, and there you see drawing of, uh, Frank Zappa. And then on the back, I thought that was Frank Zappa. That's Ringo Starr right there. Just the, the right touch of insanity, a studying achievement, Robert Hilburn, Los Angeles Times. 200 Motels is Frank Zappa's outrageous psychedelic precursor to the birth of the music video. His hilarious response to the burning question of what to do with road wrecked musicians should they be ripped off the motel off the motel tower alls and ashtrays or merely quit the group. Dare they rebel against the tyranny of the merciless Zappa. The mothers of, in of invention and irrepressible as irrepressible as Zappa himself wreak havoc in Centerville, a typical American town with its rancid Rancid, boutique, cheesy motel, fake nightclub, rednecks, redneck eats, cafe, groupies, and an honest-to-goodness main street. Ringo Starr and Zappa, a disguise, and Ringo Starr and Zappa disguise and carrying an oil lamp narrates. Theodore Baikel is government agent. Rants. Muhammad's zaniest piece of film 
musical fantasy comedy since the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night Daily Variety. And I believe this is widescreen, or it's in a matted widescreen format. This is, since this was shot on videotape, it was transferred to film and matted to a widescreen. I think the other DVDs were open, full frame, open mat. And it looks like this was United Artists, so it's got an MGM logo and a 20th Century Fox logo, but it's licensed to MVD. So that's 200 Motels starring Frank Zappa, Ringo Starr, and Theodore Baikal. And one I had seen on Cartoon Network and Sci-Fi Channel years ago. It's, a, it's been out on DVD and Blu-ray, but I still like to get DVDs. Robot Carnival. It's an anime. It's a. It's one anime film of a bunch of sh short animated films about robots. It doesn't look like they give you much as far as bonus features. They give you extra features, Automata, Santer Saturn, and Neelia, a new essay about the film by Anime News Network's Mike Tool and the original trailer. But they give you the original Japanese language version with the English subtitles and the streamlined pictures English dub. It's 1.85 anamorphic widescreen and it's region one locked 91 minutes color unrated but I don't know if this would be PG or, or R a collection of art animation and robots crawling across a desiccated landscape the robot carnival comes barreling its way onto DVD for the first time in North America, a visual treat for the eyes as well as the mind. Robot Carnival is an anthology collection of nine short films, many done by animators before they got their feet wet in directing. From funny to dramatic, artistic to entertaining, each story reaches towards the fur furthest corners of time and space to bring you a tale of robots and the people who make them. Whether you have a love for great hand-drawn animation, an appreciation for fine storytelling, or just like robots, this anthology is a must. Nine animators, one vision. And at the start of this, it does show a short cartoon where you see all these, like, Japanese villagers. And one of them's a young guy who's trying to warn all the other villagers the robot carnival's coming. And it's a big old sort of spaceship thing with the, all these robot bands kind of performing music. But they're wrecking everything in sight, so... And that's just the first cartoon, and then it goes into eight other short films about robots. So, Robot Carnival. And then when it was on Turner Classic Movies the other night, but I didn't, I didn't watch it. But finally got a DVD of it. Easy Rider. Directed by Dennis Hopper, and I believe Dennis Hopper is also in this. It stars Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper, and Jack Nicholson. It says it's two DVDs, but I thought this was one where it was just one single disc. 
It's from 1969, 95 minutes color, and it's in a 1.85 aspect ratio. It's rated R, region 1 locked, and it's got SDH subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, and it's from Columbia Pictures. This is the definitive counterculture blockbuster former clean cut teen star Dennis Hopper's down and dirty direct Tutorial debut, Easy Rider heralded the arrival of a new voice in film when pitched angrily against the mainstream after Easy Rider's cross-country journey with its radical new wave style editing, outsider rock soundtrack, rev revelatory performance by a young Jack Nicholson and the explosive ending, the American road trip would never be the same. Two DVD special edition features new Restored high definition digital transfer, supervised by director of photo photography Laz Las Laz L o Kovacs with alternate 2.0 stereo and 5.1 surround soundtracks. Two audio commentaries, one featuring actor, director, writer Dennis Hopper. So I guess he recorded that a while back because he's dead now. And other, the other Hopper, actor-writer Peter Fonda and production manager Paul Lewis, born to be wild, ni 19, from 1995, Easy Rider is shaking the cage from 1999, documentaries about the making and history of the film, television excerpts showing Hopper and Fonda at the Cannes Film Festival, new video interview with BBS co-founder, Steve Blonner, and then theatrical trailers and two DVDs. So Easy Rider, 1969. Sort of more motorcycle hippie movie, or motorcycle hippie road movie. And then one that's been on Turner Classic Movies. It's one of the few movies James Dean was in before he died. Elia Casson's production of John Steinbeck's East of Eden. It's a DVD. It stars Julie Harris, James Dean, and Raymond Mazzi. It's two DVDs. Special Features Disc 1 Commentary by Richard Seichel Theatrical tra Trailer Disc 2 Forever James Dean Documentary Feature at East of Eden Art in Search of Life 1955 New York City Premiere Actors Screen Test Wardrobe Test and Deleted Scenes Languages English and French Subtitles English French and Spanish Burl Ives and Richard Davalos are in this as well, along with Joe Van Fleet and Lois Smith. And it's anamorphic widescreen enhanced. It's from 1954, rated PG, 117 minutes in color. And James, this was James Dean's screen performance, one that will forever be remembered. And I can't read the rest because that stickers over it. Be remembered in Hollywood history, that's what it says under there. The emotionally charged film tells the story of lonely youth, Cal, played by James Dean, who vies for the affection of his hardened father, Raymond Massey, and favored brother, Aaron Richard Davalos, who is in Pit Pit Stop, I believe. The Jack Hill directed, Roger Corman produced movie. Film received four Academy Award nomi award nominations, and Joe Van Fleet won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role as Cal's wayward mother. 
So East of Eden, starting James Dean, Julie Harris, and Raymond Mazzy. Okay. So two packages done. One more. This is the last of the Amazon Prime packages. And these are all DVDs. This remove adhesive. And another one's let's see, East Eden. Two DVDs. I got the two DVD special edition DVD, James Dean and Rebel Without a Cause, also starring Natalie Wood. It's 111 minutes, but this is from 1955, but it's been rated PG-13, some violence and thematic elements, and it's in widescreen format, enhanced TVs, and it's wretchingly powerful, Dean's seminal performance, Leonard Maltin's movie guide, special features, disc one, digital transfer from restored picture and audio elements, commentary by Douglas L. Rathgem, author of the Making of Rebel Without a Cause, theatrical trailer, languages English and French, subtitles English, French, and Spanish. So that's disc one. Disc two, Rebel Without a Cause, Defiant Innocence documentary, then a vintage documentary on James Dean Remembered, additional scenes without sound, three segments from the Warner Brothers Presents TV series, including Dean's famous Drive Safely commercial TV spot, and then rear screen tests, and there's some wardrobe tests. And it says that more than a half a century after its original release, Rebel Without a Cause remains one of the most enduring motion pictures of all time. It stars James Dean in what many consider to be his finest performance, as powerfully directed by Nicholas Ray. Dean plays the ultimate teenage rebel, and together with Academy Award nominated co-stars Natalie Wood and Sal Minio gives voice to the post-war subculture of the troubled of the troubled American youth. His unforgettable rebel his unforgettable performance is the highlight of a film that was a landmark achievement. Rebel Without a Cause is included in the land in the Library of Congress National Film Registry is on the American Film Institute's 1998 list of 100 Greatest American Movies of All Time. So you can see James Dean there. So Rebel Without a Cause 2 DVD Special Edition. It's in color, 111 minutes rate, PG. 13, even though it's from 1955, they later re-rated it PG-13, when I guess when they re-released it. And then when I checked out from the library, either on VHS or DVD years back, The Graduate starring Dustin Hoffman. This was just a cheap little DVD, so but I I got a better DVD of it coming. It says it's letterbox 2.35 DVD screen format, so let's see when did this particular DVD get released? 2005, so I don't know. It's rated PG 
English stereo, and then French and Spanish subtitles. An hour and 46 minutes, color from 1967. Nominated for seven Oscars and winner for Best Director, this groundbreaking and wildly hilarious The Boston Globe social satire launched the career of two-time Oscar winner Dustin Hoffman and cemented the reputation of acclaimed director Michael Mike Nichols closer, pulsating with the rebellious spirit of the 60s, a hunting score sung by Simon and Garfunkel. Graduate is a truly landmark film, Leonard Malton, shy Benjamin Braddock, Dustin Hoffman returns home from college with an uncertain future. The, then the wife of his father's business partner, the sexy Mrs. Robinson, Anne Bancroft, seduces him. The affair only deepens his confusion, that is, until he meets the girl of his dreams, Catherine Ross. There's one problem. She is Mrs. Robinson's daughter. So it stars Anne Bancroft, Dustin Hoffman, and Catherine Ross. And one I had seen on Sci Fi Channel years back, and I had seen on cable. It's one that Roger Corman bought up the U.S. rights for for a while and recut it, but this is the uncut version Galaxy Express. Three nine. And it's region one locked. Extras include image gallery and trailers. It's an anamorphic widescreen, sixteen by nine, so it's enhanced in one point eight five. And audio is English, Japanese, and English subtitles. Unrated. Region 1 locked, 128 minutes. Galaxy Express 39 is the name of a train which travels through space beginning at, me at Mega, Mega, Mega Lo Megalopolis Station on one end of the galaxy and terminating at Andromeda on the other, but the Galaxy Express is more than just a train. It's also a metaphor for life itself, with passengers constantly boarding, de debarking, and dreaming along the way. Tetsiro Hashino is a youth who will give anything to board the 3-9, including a promise to accompany a mysterious woman named Maytel along the way to Andromeda. The planet where she tells him he can get a free machine body to avenge the cruel death of his mother at the hands of the villainous Count Mecca. But nothing is as easy as it sounds, and Tetsiro is about to learn the true price not only for boarding the 39 and avenging his mother, but for leaving his childhood behind, falling in love, and becoming a man. Based on the long running Japanese manga series by Laiji Matsumoto, Galaxy Express 39 is directed by acclaimed anime veteran Rintaro Metropolis, Neo Tokyo, and X the Movie. It is presented uncut with the option of original Japanese language and English subtitles or English language. So it's region one locked it's from Toy Animation Filmworks in Eastern Star. 128 minutes, not rated. And that's Maytel right there. And there, can't see too good, but see a picture of all the characters right there. All the main characters. One more 
almost at 35 minutes. Another Criterion Collection DVD film by Bob Raphaelson, Five Easy Pieces from 1970. Yeah, this is 98 minutes color and it's in a 1.85 aspect ratio. And it says that following Jack Nicholson's breakout, supporting turn in Easy Rider director Bob Raffleson devised a powerful leading role for the new star in the Syrian character study Five Easy Pieces. Nicholson plays the now iconic CAD Bobby Dupia, a shiftless 30 something oil rigger and former piano prodigy immune to any sense of responsibility, who returns to his upper-middle-class upper childhood home, blue-collar girlfriend Karen Black in an Oscar-nominated role in tow to see his estranged ailing father moving in its simplicity and gritty and gritty in its textures five easy Five Easy Pieces is a lasting example for early 1970s American alienation and the DVD special features restored high-definition digital transfer supervised by director of photography Laz Kovacs, audio commentary by director Bob Raffleson and interior designer Toby Raffleson, soul-searching in five in five e Easy Pieces, a 2009 piece featuring Raffleson, BB Story, a 2009 documentary about the legendary film company BBS Productions with Raffleson, actors Jack Nicholson, Karen Black, and Alan Burstyn, filmmakers Peter Bogdanovich, Henry Jaglom, and others documentary from 2009 about BBS featuring critic David Thompson and historian Douglas Brinkley. Audio excerpts from a 1976 AFI interview with Raffleson, trailer and teasers, plus an essay by critic Kent Jones. So it's Region 1 locked rate R. There's English titles for the death and hard of hearing five e e e five easy pieces I have a hard time saying that five easy pieces from 1970 98 minutes color mon oral audio 1.85 aspect ratio it's just one DVD so do a recap now. A little after 38 minutes, I started off just talking about two Roger Corman movies I watched on DVD late last night: The Student Nurses, and then you know The Student Nurses from 1970, and then Mind Warp and Infinity of Terror, which is also Galaxy of Terror from 1981. And I've had these for a while. And then, package number one, I got the cheesy, thick, the cheesy Flicks DVD edition of Mexican horror movie, The Brainiac from 1962. And the Scorpion releasing Blu-ray of Red Rings of Fear, Enigma Rosso, Italian Giallo, that was in package number one from Amazon Prime. And then in package number two from Amazon Prime, the DVD edition of yeah. sounds a little bit loose in there. East to Eden. DVD starring James Dean from Warner Brothers and then the Criterion Collection 
two disc DVD special edition of Easy Rider. And then the Japanese anime DVD Robot Carnival. And then the MVD DVD edition of Frank Zappa's 200 Motels. That was package number two. And then package number three from Amazon Prime, the two-disc special edition of Rebel Without a Cause, starring James Dean and Natalie Wood. It's from Warner Brothers. And then the MGM DVD of The Graduate, starring Dustin Hoffman. And... The Eastern Star Filmworks Toy Animation DVD of the anime movie Galaxy Express 3-9. And then, last but not least, the Criterion Collection DVD of Five Easy Pieces. So that's it for part one of my DVD and Blu-ray update for September 2018. I've got a few more packages, hopefully, well, coming this week, so... Thanks for watching my DVD and Blu-ray update. I'm Tim. See you next time.